What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a pre release opening of our Ultra Prism set, the newest set to be coming out. This pre release just happened this past weekend, where everybody's pre release is happening. Trust me, I saw all kinds of pre releases all over Twitter, and we have decided to attend one of those. Now, this is our first TCG opening video that we've done in a long time. So right off the bat, I'd like to ask you if you enjoy watching our TCG openings, show me just by hitting the thumbs up down below or commenting below that you enjoy it. This is the one series that actually costs money to do, obviously. So it's a little different than others. So um, just let me know. I do plan on bringing some TCG stuff back, but I'm not sure what to what extent. So as we do with most of our pre-releases, what we're going to be doing today um, is we will be opening up the four packs that'll come later um, in just a minute We're gonna flash to where you can see the first three packs that we opened or no we opened four And we're going to open three I guess um, but anyway I, I Could show you but what I'll what I'll show you is that the pack the card that we got was wash Rotom that was the promo card that we got for the set and we'll talk through the deck and then we'll open these packs that you see back here. So enjoy the whatever music we put on and enjoy the, uh, the openings from when we were at the pre-release. So now that you have seen those there, you know we pulled one hype card, so let's go ahead and pull this out. Uh, the Rotom Wash was simply a distraction for our full art Diaga GX that we got. And it was, this is the first time that I've been to a pre-release where we've gotten something really good, like a full art. Uh, I did manage to use this card quite a bit. Um, our Shred, our 80 damage move, actually happened to win us our first game. And then I had some fun with it in the last game. Uh, but let's take a look at the rest of the deck. So we will put Diaga back here, because that was pretty hype. Um, this, the Young Goose Gumshoes, which is included in the, uh, the pack that just came in the box, uh, is pretty good. Identify does 100 damage if your opponent has a Pokemon in their hand. So I got to use that for a couple prize cards. Um, the Empoleon line, which was in my, which was in my, uh, included pack as well, is really good. Total Command does 20 for every Pokemon that's on the field. That was a couple kills. Shinx to Luxray. Actually, without this, I might not have won my last match. I might have. But, basically, when you discard all energy, all lightning energy attached to it, um, you hit 150 to your opponent's bench, whichever Pokemon you'd like. And I had to hit a very strong um, Ultra... It was a Dusk Mane Necrozma. And it weakened it, so when it came in, I was able to kill it. Electivire didn't really do too much, but Steel Short did give me a couple kills. I did run one Spirit Tomb, because I could put two supporter cards from the discard pile in my hand. That helped me in the first match, for sure. Um, the included... Actually, Looker was pretty good. The included stuff here. Three Metal Energies. 5 Water and 5 Electric. That was the deck that we ran. In the first match that we played... Well, no, let's just talk about the third one. I only won the third match because I don't think my opponent knew all the rules. What happened is he had his Prism Star Lunala up, which had 3 Retreat cost, and he was drawing a card and would just attach the energy to his Dusk Mane Necrozma. Uh, this one. The one that's on that pre-release box. He pulled that card and... 
he was just attaching and attaching and attaching and attaching. And so I started to count his deck, and I actually wound up timing him, or uh, decking him out at a pre-release. So judge me however you'd like. But anyway, um, now we have three packs to open. We have a... And I specifically requested this one. I requested Leafeon. I requested one of the Leafeon packs that was sitting there. So Leafeon, Giratina, and Don Wings Necrozma. So let's mix these up. I'm hoping for just one more pull. It could be a GX. It could be whatever it'd like to be. That's just what I would like to see. So we'll start off with Leafeon. We, we requested Leafeon. Now we get Leafeon. So here we go. When I was opening these cards, I, I could hardly... It was... I hardly remembered how to open packs. Uh, but anyway, we're going to guess a... Metal energy for our Dialga. It's fighting. Alright, let's see if we can pull anything. Now, what I'm hoping to pull is like a Prism Star card. Because there were all kinds of them being pulled. They're really not super rare. But people are pulling them all over the place. Reverse rare Tapu Lele? I didn't know Tapu Lele was in this set. And a Hollow Heatran. Didn't I go over the entire set? I must admit, there must have been a couple cards missing, because I do not remember that. Anyway, let's continue on. Ah, but yeah, I was opening these packs, and I was like, man, it has been a minute since I've opened packs. All right, let's go with a... Fairy Energy. Oh, dark. I miss opening packs. I used to open packs once a week. Now, when I move later this year, might be... Ooh, that's a pull. That's a Giratina Prism Star. Let's see what else. The type Null. That's a Giratina Prism Star. I'm down for that. Like I said, I just wanted a pull, and this, this counts for it for sure. So there's a Giratina Prism Star. seems like he goes with the dark ride that when you i don't know i think there's a dark ride that does something similar to what he does lastly we have a giratina a giratina pack all right i'm gonna try not to look at this code card how can i do that i can do that okay i'd rather not be spoiled so i'm gonna go with the psychic energy for our giratina Ooh, there's the metal energy for our dialga all right, if I could, I mean, if I pull one more, I mean, that would be above and beyond. Ooh, a Sneasel! You'll never see me complain about pulling a Sneasel in this set. Reverse Heatran and a Licky Licky, so nothing really. But we did get two cards from our, um, two cards from our pre-release. We got ourselves a Dialga, uh, a Dialga Full Art and a Giratina Prism Star. I'm pretty happy with that. Considering some of the pre-releases that we've been to in the past, this was nowhere near as bad. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for our pre-release wrap-up. It was an extremely fun time. Pre-releases are probably the best thing that I enjoy going to. Um, just a whole lot of fun getting with people, opening up and putting putting a deck together of what, uh, of what we pull. So um, shout-outs to Docs Comics and Gaming in Frisco, Texas, which is where we went to. Um, Anyway, again, if you enjoy seeing our pack openings, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. We will be opening up some more stuff. We will be opening up uh, an Ultra Prism booster box, as we always do. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that. Um, we're also going to be at least opening one Elite Trainer box in a pack battle. And that's all the information that you get. Mmm. Some people are going to be super excited to see it, and some people are going to be super salty to see it. And that's all of the, the uh, that's all the hints that you get. Again, if you wind up enjoying, go and hit the thumbs up down below, and do consider subscribing to join the domination, so you can help us spread positivity. Because the world, man, we need more positivity in the world. And we will see you in the next TCG opening video. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.